So now that Coinbase Pro has officially switched to advanced trade, let's explore how to use the limit order function. If you're new to trading, a limit order allows you to ensure that you're buying or selling crypto at the desired price you wish to buy or sell it for versus a market order which just executes your order automatically depending on the next bid or ask in the order book. If you're not sure what the order book is, I'll show it to you in a few seconds, but just know that understanding limit orders really helps you to take your trading to the next level. So if you just spend a few minutes on this video, you're going to take your knowledge to the next level and you'll be a better crypto trader, crypto investor. So first things first, let's take a look on this platform where we have to go. So here we would click on trade and here you're going to see a lot of crypto pairs. This is basically what you want to buy or sell between two pairs. So for us, we want to use American USD in order to go ahead and buy Bitcoin. So we're going to search for BTC and we see right here the pair BTC USD. So once we click that, you will see that we have an option here on the right hand side to place limit orders and so even before we get into placing a limit order i want to point out that when you use limit orders for a buy order the trade will be completed only if the price reaches the desired limit price or lower which is even better and conversely when you use a limit order to sell a crypto the trade will only be executed if the price reaches the specified limit price or higher which would obviously be better as well when you sell you want to sell high unless you're kathy wood who loves to buy stocks at the highest and sell at their lowest losing arc investors a ton of money but i digress so the limit price where is it it's right here and we could do a couple of things so if you've watched my videos you know that i'm a believer that bitcoin is going to keep dropping in price i've been saying this for a while that my limit order is at 12,500 for when I am comfortable once again dollar cost averaging in. So instead of staying glued to the computer screen and being like, okay, when is it going to hit 12,500? I can go ahead and set a limit order and forget about it. I could just set it and go live my life. And if it never hits 12,500, well, then it just never triggers and the order will remain in the order book. And the orders you're going to see down here and we'll cover that in a second but first I'm gonna go ahead zoom in on the screen so that you can see exactly what I'm doing right here so if we take a look here's the limit price now there's a couple of interesting things we can do here so the first is I can set a limit order for 12,500 USD to go ahead and buy Bitcoin at this price now you also see there's a couple of options here and I want to cover those as well but before I do I want to show you this really cool feature they have here where you could toggle the percentage of your total net worth in Coinbase that you have in USD obviously you can toggle and say I want to spend 75% or I want to spend 50% of everything that I have and so I think that's a pretty neat feature now if you want to be really really exact like let's say you want to buy three tenths of a Bitcoin today well simply you would put 0 0.3 and from here it actually shows you how much of your total USD that is which is $3,772.50 and obviously there's going to be a fee here now it says that fees are 0.4% for maker orders and 0.6% for taker orders based on your trailing 30-day volume from Coinbase Pro and advanced trading and this we can actually tweak it right here. Now, personally, post only, allow taker, I don't really bother with these as the difference between maker fees and taker fees is really, really small. For me, it is irrelevant. So I usually leave it under post only. And then we can choose when we want this order to go ahead and fill. And this is very, very important. And even though they have it here under this drop down advanced feature, I highly recommend that you guys always take a look here because depending on what you select, it's very, very important and it can make or break your strategy. So one option is you can have a good till canceled order and this order will remain 
remain in the order book until it is triggered. And if it's not triggered, it will just sit there until it is. Now there's also an IOC or an immediate or cancel order. And this is an order that is placed that if it isn't immediately able to be filled, it will automatically be canceled and removed from the order book. Now, some of you that trade all the time, you know that sometimes you put in a limit order and only partially it can get filled. Why? Well, because the price just hit that limit price for a temporary period of time and then spike back up and you were not able to go ahead and fulfill your entire buy order for 0.3 BTC. And so what it does is it might only fill it for 0.1 BTC. And they also have an option here for good till time. And what this is, is you can select whether you want this order to be good for one minute, one hour or one day. Now, when does this make sense? Well, maybe you're trading and it's a crazy period because there's a flash crash or something like that and you want to put a trade in, but you don't necessarily want it to be active tomorrow or the day after. You can go ahead and set it here for the amount of time that you wish for it to be good for. Now, one thing I'm seeing with this new platform is that on Coinbase Pro, we used to be able to put something in that was called a fill or kill order, whereas here you don't really have that option which is interesting to note. Now, remember I mentioned that I'm gonna tell you about the order book? Well, I'll go ahead and do that now because on the left-hand side, we have a really interactive chart and I may actually make a separate video on how to use this chart and some of the technical features that it has because I think it's awesome that we have something like this. Coinbase Pro did not. Coinbase Pro interface was absolute trash when it came to these candlesticks and the things you can do with it. And I'm really, really happy that Coinbase has listened to their users and upgraded to use a very friendly interface like this. So to the right of it, you're gonna see the order book. All it is, is it's a list of orders, bids and asks that traders are putting in in order to have their transaction filled at their desired price. Now, what does this mean? Well, basically, this is a current record of interest from buyers and sellers. And once an interest criteria is met for both a buyer and a seller, a match is made and an order is executed and removed from the order book. So for instance, the price right now is $16,535. Yet right here, we can see in the order book $16,539. This is someone that is putting an ask price in. They're asking for this amount for their crypto and they're waiting for it to be filled. So this is basically an order book. It exists in the stock market and it exists in crypto as well. And so before I round out the video, I wanna point this out because this is relatively new. The mid, the bid, and the percentage points. What the heck is that? Well, the mid sets your order to the mid market price for the asset. And the mid market price is right here. You can see it changing right here. And remember, at any point, you can just put in a market order and basically the program will go ahead and fill your order. But it's never the desired way to do it because with a limit order, you can actually control what price you're buying or selling something for, whereas a market order just automatically fills the next bid or ask and your order goes through. And so again, the mid market price is right here. That's if you wanna set it for mid. And if you wanna set it for bid, you can click on bid right here. Now what the percentages mean is kind of really interesting and it's an interesting strategy. So for example, if Bitcoin has been dropping in price and you wanna buy it, but you don't necessarily wanna buy it at this price, you wanna buy it if Bitcoin drops another 5% from this price, you can simply just put in 5%. And then when you go ahead and click buy BTC, it will just wait until it dips below 5% and it will go ahead and trigger your order once the price is at 5% or below this current price. You can also do it for 10% and you could also do it for 1%. And the cool thing is, is you can't just do these things for buy, you can do them for sell as well. So if you own Bitcoin, but you don't wanna part ways at it at its current price, but you do wanna part ways if it goes up by 10%, you simply click 10% and then place your order. So let's go ahead and place a buy order, limit price 12,000, 
500. I'm going to go ahead and set my amount to the maximum that I will be allowed to buy. And you see here that it's going to be $5,250 worth USD. It tells me that that's 0.417 of a Bitcoin. And over here, I could see the fees. And the other neat thing is you can hover over the eyes and it's going to tell you a lot of information that might be helpful to you as you go ahead and place the order. So remember, I'm going to select the advanced and I'm going to select good till canceled. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy this BTC. And as you can see right here, now my order appears below and you could see that it is a limit order to buy Bitcoin if the price hits $12,500 or lower, which will in effect give me 0.4175 BTC. Currently, it is 0% filled. Why? Well, because the price of Bitcoin is much higher. So this trade has not been executed because the limit order has not been triggered in order to get filled. And so 0% is filled. And the total that I am spending on this is $5,249.93. And the status is open. And I want to cover a very important question that I get asked a lot. Do you get charged fees for placing an order? And the answer is you do not get charged any fees for placing an order. You only get charged the fees if the order executes and the transaction goes through. So don't worry about having a bunch of orders and then canceling them. You are not losing money unless the order is executed and then the fee that they went ahead and showed here will actually be deducted from your account balance. I hope this video helps you understand a little bit about limit orders, how to use them on Coinbase Advanced Trade. Let me know which topic you wish for me to cover next. And please don't just keep an eye on your crypto portfolio. Keep an eye on your mental health. Make sure you're never investing more than you can afford to lose. And make sure that investing and trading is enhancing your life rather than adding stress to it. I love you guys. I'll see you all in the next video.